Hey, how's it going guys? Joby 930 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys firsthand Joby Systems Joby PC Suite. This is version 1.09. Uh, now right off the bat I want to tell you guys that this is what um, comes with and what's used to control uh, my RE8500 rework station from Joby Systems. Uh, you have the option of either using the software or you can obviously control the machine uh, directly from the machine itself if you want to do so. But uh, the, the PC suite does give you a really nice, easy to use interface and uh, makes it a lot easier to build profiles and, and manage things and uh, stuff like that. So anyways, I'm using my desktop right now uh, because the laptop is typically what I would use to run the machine, but it does not have very good uh, capturing software. So uh, typically, if you have your machine plugged in, you're going to see the machine showing right here and it'll say connect. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys in offline mode. It'll still I can still show you all the different things that you'd be able to do in online mode. Uh, but again, it's just because I'm not using it hooked up to the machine right now. So let's go ahead and open this up here. And so this is pretty much the whole interface uh, right here. Everything can be accessed from this. this is kind of like the home uh, home section. So anyways, let's go ahead and just kind of browse through the different things. Um, under tools, you can do things like uh, save if you if you're trying to build a profile if you're building a profile and you want to see um, exactly every climb every second where where the thermal coupler was at you can go ahead and save your processes and you can go ahead and um, open them up right here under the process analysis so that's really useful in terms of building a profile and uh, wanting to see like if something's maybe not working correctly when I was trying to uh, I was troubleshooting my machine at one point and it was useful to be able to see all the exact temperatures and how long it took the plates to reach a certain temperature so that's that um, you do have pretty much full control of the machine you can run the built-in external fan for the machine um, you could run the suction pen pump um, let's go ahead and click on settings here you could just choose basic things like uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit and you also language you have a couple different options there all right, under profiles, you have a again a couple different things here. If it was hooked up to your machine, if you've created a profile on the machine, you could import it to your computer if you want to edit it or save it. Um, and if you built one here, you can go ahead and actually export it to the RE8500. We'll go ahead and open up the profile editor so I can show you guys what that looks like. Uh, so here's the profile editor. It's pretty simple to use, actually very easy to use. Um, you have two different options. You can go ahead and choose standard profile and you have the option of leaded and lead free or you can click free mode profile and that gives you complete control um, during the preheating, soaking and reflow stage of where you want the power to be coming from. If you want it to be 100% the upper heater or 50% the upper heater and um, gives you very detailed control but uh, for the most part, well, completely actually when I'm building my profiles or you trying to um, change up a profile. I just use the standard profile and um, would use like for the Xbox to say lead free and it's really really simple to build a profile with this. I mean all you have to do is type in the preheat temperature that you want, um, the soak temperature so if you can do something like uh, preheat maybe to uh, let's just say for example 120 um, and then you can go to soak temperature maybe somewhere around we'll go 160 Okay, so you have to go higher than that because it wants you to be, since it's lead free, it knows it needs to go higher. So we'll go ahead and change this up a little bit. We'll start it off at 140. Then we'll go to, uh, let's say, 195. And then we'll peak off at 2, uh, we'll just say 220 then. Or let's go 225. All right, so there you can see this is the uh, profile. It shows you how long it'll take for it to climb um, to the peak and then come back down. Um, it also you can choose how long you want it to be at the peak zone time because typically you don't want it to be there for you know just a second you want it to actually um, stay at that temperature so I typically do anywhere between uh, 30 to 60 seconds so you can just go ahead and hit 45 and as you can see it extends the uh, time a bit right there and you can also give yourself an alarm temperature which is let's say like you want once the machine hits 200 the machine will begin beeping so you know that you're close to uh, the reflow temperature you can also give yourself custom messages and again you can save it to the computer export it or you can just run this profile you just created directly onto your RE8500 which is also kind of sweet um, 
They also have what is, let me go ahead and exit out of this. They have a profile database, which I'll go ahead and open up real quick for you guys. Hopefully it'll load up. Yeah, um, the on Jovi's website actually, this just links you pretty much all that all that button was was a link. Um, there is a ton of pre-made uh, profiles. So like for the Xbox One, you can download like Xbox or Game Console, and it'll have a bunch of different ones in there. And because this machine is run 100%, of these profiles are run based off the thermocouplers. I, these these uh, pre-done profiles have been 100% accurate for me like with the Xbox one I was able to run the pre-done one and because it's based off the thermocouplers temperature it guarantees that you're hitting those temperatures accurately um, again the first few times you're gonna want to watch it and make sure that you know there's no popcorning or anything like that and that your um, the height or, or height of your um, top heater isn't too low or too high but Again, it's really nice. They, these are actually uh, packs of them too. So if you were to download game consoles, there's going to be quite a few. Like I'll just download it real quick, open it up. It has a bunch of different ones in here. You got like PlayStation CPU, Xbox GPU, um, GPU reflow. Just got a bunch of different things. So that's really cool of them to have these profiles uh, readily available for you without having to, you know, figure it out on your own. So that's that. Um, there's also things like. Um, right here you can run a profile like let's say you have your machine hooked up and you just want to run a profile you click this one um, choose the profile that you've either pre-made or have one of those downloaded ones and um, it'll run it instantly and also you can run it in manual um, it gives you in real time there'll be a graph right here that will actually give you in real time what's going on you can watch it as it climbs you can uh, check it comes with two thermocouplers when you buy the RE8500 but you can have up to five Two is the minimum that you have to actually have for the machine to function properly because it does run based off the of thermocouplers. Um, but you can click on T thermocoupler one if you just want to watch the first one or both of them. Um, it'll show you the time, how long the profile has elapsed. So it's really, really detailed. Um, I definitely used this a lot, this program, when I was first messing with the machine and trying to. Um, get the profile working correctly for the Xbox and then once once I found the profile uh, which the one they had actually worked fine but once I got that profile I was able to just run it directly from the machine I exported it and I never had um, any issues with it since so um, but all very very nice guys I just wanted to show you firsthand that it does come with a really nice PC suite so Joby does try their best to uh, make things you know available and in your face as this software is not complicated whatsoever. It's really self-explanatory um, and yeah, easy to use. They also have a download for uh, instructions to this kind of showing you how to use all the basic features of it. But uh, anyways guys, hopefully this video was informational and helpful for you guys. I just really wanted again to show you um, with this machine that Joby does, you know, they've definitely spent some time and try to cater uh, a nice nice clean interface for you to be able to use in terms of uh, making your rework process as simple as you know simple and headache free as possible well if you guys are interested in finding out more I will link you guys uh, over to Jovi's website I will also link you guys over to the instruction manual um, that will you know show you instructions for the machine as well as the software itself alright guys dope 930 and thanks for watching